Move it 92.5. Mm, hey girl, what's up with you? Wait a minute, is this the right number? It's um the loser line. Come on, just call me back. If you haven't heard the loser line before, it works like this. Let's say a weird guy approaches you while you're out at the club and uses this charming pickup line. Um, excuse me, miss, but uh may I ask you to please come over a little closer and maybe grab my arm? <laughs> and if you're wondering why I'm asking, it's because I want to tell my friends that I've been touched by an angel. So oh my god. I'd oh my like god. to do other things with an angel too, because that'd be oh cool to tell god. him I did that Whoa, also. Okay. What? Um, anyway, after he says that, whatever you do, don't give him a fake phone number. Wait. Actually, hold on. What? Give him a fake phone number. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Make sure it's a loser you. line, so hopefully he leaves an awkward voicemail that we can play for you on the air. <laughs> Voicemails like this one. Next message. Hey, Mike, it's L- Uh I usually... Don't do this a lot, calling people that I meet at the grocery store. But um, you didn't exactly freak out when you heard about my crazy kale diet. So I don't know. I figured I would just give you a call. Um, There's a protest thing coming up that I thought maybe you would like to join me. Hmm. So uh, give me a call when you get this. Meat is murder. (laughs) All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Next Always She's... fun to hang out with someone who just wants to go to meet his murder protest. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she sounds like a good time. Yeah, yeah. She does. I don't know. And her standard is, you didn't think I was too crazy. Yeah. So right. I like you. I just bet crazy she's enough. real funny, yes. too. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Next message. Uh, Michelle? Hey. Yeah. I'm saving your number as Mike work in case my girlfriend goes to my phone. <laughs> Uh, I don't want her seeing this, so I gotta keep it like secret. Um, so, so like, don't don't call me back. I'll call you, and uh, yeah, don't text either. Uh, no, no snapping. Um, definitely don't follow me on Instagram. And yeah, we gotta keep this like low key. Uh, I gotta run. She's coming. All right, bye. <laughs> yeah, I really wonder why he got the loser line. Wow. Like, hey, I really want to uh, get your number, but also yeah. I have a girlfriend, so I'm going to have to hide that from her, and you can't be in contact with me at all. I can oh only be in contact God. with you. And it would be so exhausting to date him because all he would do is worry about getting caught cheating. Mm-hmm. Like, you are time. a horrible cheater because at it's least, not fun at all. At least, you know, she agrees. She's like, oh, we'll keep it low-key. So yeah. low-key, you don't even know my real number. Yep. <laughs> well, he actually called back, so of here's his he other did. message. God. Next message. Hey, Michelle. Once again, how's it going? Yeah, um, just want to say, you know, my whole, like, girlfriend thing, that's not, like, happening now. So don't worry. Um, not your fault. Not your fault. But if you want to go out now, like, yeah, I'm free. Free man. And uh, definitely definitely follow me on Instagram. All right. Ciao. Next not your fault. Not your fault. Not your fault. I've been cheating for a so long time, uh-huh. and she finally found out. So now I'm single, and we can get together so I can cheat on you. Yeah. Give me a call. Remember, you can get the special number to the loser line. All you have to do is text the word loser, L-O-S-E-R, to 78592. The hardest part about getting the loser line is spelling the word loser, L-O-S-E-R. Next message. Hey, Craig. It's me. But you should know that because this is my fourth message that I've left in like two days. Maybe I'm just giving you one extra chance. Too many because I really don't know what the problem was, Craig. Was it because I I didn't talk enough on our date? Oh, wait, I did all the talking. Do you just not communicate? Do you not understand how to talk to people? Or maybe it's just what everybody else says when they go out with me, that I'm just too damn nice. Was I nice enough for you, Craig? You don't deserve this. I am nice, Craig. So I'm going to give you another chance to call me within an hour, and we're going to go out. We're going to eat food, and you're going to have a good time. Next message. Sounds like someone may have been a little too nice in their life, and then they sat down and watched some motivational tapes on how to be a little more aggressive and then took it all the way to heart. And that poor woman, the dating world finally broke her, and we heard it happen. Like, that was the moment that it just destroyed the person she was. It's like she reminds you of, like, a mom that's like, we're all going to go, and we're going to have fun, Mm -hmm. and everyone's going to have a good time. Tired of you taking advantage of me and my kindness. Here's another message. Next message. Hey, Tina. It's from the other night. We talked for a long time. <laughs> being from the Midwest, you probably know what it's like being a corn detasseler. I certainly did that as a youngster back in the day. And that's where I'm coming from in how I want to treat you. 
just like I treated the corn stalks. I'm going to grip your tassel, not too firm, but enough that when I yank it, you'll know. What? And once the tassel's firmly in my hand, I will discard it, and you will be tasselless if uh, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Then I, uh, I will admire your naked corn. Um, <laughs> ripe for the picking is what I'm talking about here. <laughs> um, fertile ground. What? Maybe a little something or other will pop out the stalk. Let's see what happens after that. Next message. I don't really fully know what he was talking about, but I am interested. I bet you are. You've always a little corn detasseling. <laughs> always wanted Enough. to be a corn cob, yeah. haven't you? Nothing was hotter than that as far as yeah. dirty talk goes. I mean, yeah. when it comes to vegetables, we all know ladies like to be thought of as corn. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to do some more research on detasseling corn now, so we have yeah. to end the segment. That was the loser line. Remember, listen to the loser line regularly every Monday at this time. Your phone tap's coming up right after this. It's Brooke and Jewel in the morning.